I think it's about time we talked about some FIFA 20 SBCs and which SBCs are going to be the most worth it at the start of the game for you guys to complete. If you are new around my channel, it would mean the world to me if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are trying to get to 100,000 subs before the end of the year. We're currently on 96,000, which is absolutely incredible. So thank you very much for hitting that, uh, which means we are just under 4,000 away from 100,000. I believe we can do it by the end of the year. It would mean the world if you guys could sub. It's my all-time goal, and I'm really excited. Now, what you're looking at behind me is actually a photoshopped uh, FIFA 20 SBC screen. It should look pretty similar to this. It's modeled off like all the ones we've seen so far and stuff like that. Um, and we're going to talk about which SBCs are going to be the most worth it for you guys to complete at the start of the year. A uh, question I always get asked is, you know, should I complete this SBC? Should I complete this SBC? Which one's going to be the most worth it? Which one should I save plays for or buy plays for, etc.? So I thought we'd talk about it in this video and uh, we get going with it. On the screen right now are the three most valued SBCs, in my opinion, at the start of the game. As always, uh, as EA bring them out every single year, is the hybrid leagues, hybrid nations, and league and nation hybrid. Now, they usually have four teams within the uh, category. Uh, you complete them and you get, for example, mega packs, 15k packs, 25k packs, 45k packs. And at the end, you get yourself a 55k pack or a 50k pack uh, or a 45k pack for completing it. I'll show you guys in just a second what it looked like on FIFA 19. Uh, but this is what it should look like on FIFA 20. Uh, they always have pretty similar requirements to FIFA 19. EA might change things up here in there just to kind of keep people on the toes, keep it spicy a little bit. But they realistically should have very similar um, requirements from FIFA 19 to FIFA 20, um, and they are always very, very worth it. You know, if you get lucky and you get decent plays in packs, or if you get them really early, during early access, typically these SBCs are about 25, 30,000 coins. They usually rise to about 45, 50K per uh, group uh, when the full game's out, but they never go more than that, which means that you're always paying a decent price for a lot of packs and a lot of good packs at the start of the year as well. Um, the only thing that's annoying with these are typically loyalty, which is stuff you guys can attain and actually make coins from attaining as well. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. To help me go through this, I've actually dusted off FIFA 19. Yeah, that old chestnut. Uh, I've made a brand new account on FIFA 19 to show you guys what it looks like when you actually first open FIFA and get onto the SBC screen. So this will be the same in FIFA 20. Typically, you have a let's get started SBC which you have to uh, submit about maybe five total to five to ten bronze players um, into these. So, for example, first exchange, they're all really easy. Like, th these will be done for your starter packs with, without a shadow of a doubt. You'll submit this guy into this one, for example, um, and it'll typically get... A little bit harder every time, but not not very difficult at all, really. I don't know why I've got loads of packs on this account as well. I think they're all like packs that EA are giving out as promos and stuff. Very strange. Um, but yeah, these aren't difficult to complete or anything like that. Uh, as you see, we'll throw these guys in and uh, and we'll do the last one in just a second. What packs do I actually have? I have a UCL player pack, UCL kits pack, a welcome pack, the FIFA 19. Okay, I don't care about any of those. Um, and then obviously we have the uh, the third step. These are just to unlock the rest of the SBCs. You have to do these no matter what, just to make sure that you guys can actually uh, complete the rest of the SBCs. It, it, it's not difficult to do though. Like you'll find it pretty easy. Um, let's quickly uh, finish this one off. There you go, really easy, submit. And then you actually get yourself, I think, a two-player pack from this as well. Um, not that we actually care about what packs you get. So we'll go over to the advanced SBCs where you'll find the SBCs we're talking about. Hybrid Leagues, Hybrid Nations, League and Nation Hybrid. Now, for League and Nation Hybrid, you get yourself 12,000 coins in the kit. Um, so you actually get 12k back as well as the rewards. Now, there is a big pack in the rewards. It is the 50k pack for Hybrid Master. You also get a mega pack. Um, a rare gold pack and one and a half thousand coins and a premium gold players pack. This is the best one. I think two out of these teams require loyalty as well. Hybrid Master definitely does. And I think... Um I think Tough does as well. Uh, the rest of these I don't think require loyalty, uh, although they might require loyalty on one player in the team, but you should pack a decent amount of players. This one you get a rare mega pack as well as premium gold players pack, premium gold pack, mega pack, and prime gold players pack. And then hybrid leagues, you get yourself one rare mega pack as well as uh, a jumbo gold pack, a jumbo gold premium pack, uh, a mega pack, and a prime gold players pack. So in total, you get yourself a lot of packs back for these SBCs. And maybe to complete all of them is going to cost you at worst like 120k 
at worst. These are definitely the most value SBC those, because as you can see, for example, if we were to go for a prime gold players pack, a 45k pack, it requires nine different leagues, but these you can do all the same nation, um, and it doesn't matter, and only a 79 rated overall. So these aren't difficult at all. Um, so for example, for the hybrid leagues, you do all one nation, but from different leagues. So we could go here for like Brazilian and go for like Brazilians from the Prem, from the La Liga, from Serie A, from Liga, and Bundesliga, and then off leagues like the Turkish League and Ukrainian League and you know, the League of Russia, for example, or League of NOS. Uh, they're really easy to do. And then uh, obviously, as you get into it, they get a little bit harder, but this one's only exactly gold you don't even have a rating requirement it just has a leagues exactly 11 so this one you probably require loyalty on one player maybe two players max uh because the rest will get nine or eight chemistry um so you need uh you know a one or two points here or there but you should pack at least one player that can help you with this i would assume from your welcome back or starter packs um and you get a mega pack for that so it's really easy to complete that now the league and nation hybrid is a little bit harder so hybrid master will probably cost you about 15 20k on its own um it's 82 rated, which is difficult when you think about it because you need uh, players from certain leagues and stuff like that. 86 chemistry, so you 100% need loyalty for this. Um, nationality is 9, League 7. Uh, but you do get a 50k pack, and I actually think I packed something really decent for the 50k pack from this. I thought I'd look at Footbin to give me a good idea of this. Now, these typically don't change that much in price over the year. If we were to look at the League and Nation Hybrid, it's always a little bit more expensive at the start of the year. Um, however, obviously, you see you get a uh, 50k pack. This is the exact pack we're talking about. Um, I think we can change this in terms of so this is September 23rd for the entire SBC September 23rd of 2018 it cost 28,000 the most it rose up to is 42,000 and then over here in July it rose massively but this is just because of special cards and stuff like that and players being out of packs uh, but the most I ever saw between sort of uh, September and late October was about what 30 42,000 coins it was 42,000 coins was the most it ever saw so it's 100% worth it to do this for 42,000 coins you get a 50k pack you get a 25k so 75k uh, 100k you get 100 35,000 coins worth of packs back and 12,000 coins. So say you do it for 42k, you get 12,000 coins back. It's 30k for 135,000 coins worth of packs back, in my opinion, is 100% worth it. Now for the hybrid master, this is how it's typically completed. As you see, uh, this one does require loyalty. Thank you, Footbin, for letting us know. Uh, as you see, this is how it's sort of typically done. Uh, it will be different on FIFA 20. They'll give us different requirements. Um, but you see, like, it's not exactly easy. However, at the start of the game, if we were to look at a daily graph here, uh, on September 25th, it was only 14,000 coins, 15,000 coins. And when the game first came out in, like, early October, uh, it was 13K, 16K. Like, it's not that expensive to do. And like I said, the the what you get back is 100% worth it. You pay... 13,000 coins for this SBC and the sheer discard value of a 50k pack is 7,000 coins. So at worst, you lose 6k and that's even if you pack nothing. Chances are you'll pack something that sells for at least something at the start of the year. Like most players sell for a little bit or something at the start of the year. So if, even if you pack, for example, if you were to pack like a, an Eric Bailly, he might be like 11, 12k. So you've made profit back. If you were to pack like a Rashford, he usually goes for like 40, 50k at the start of the game and he'll only be like 82, 83 rated. So you'll get yourself a decent amount of coins back uh in my opinion 100 worth it and the same with all the other ones really like you get really really good uh value packs back for these sbcs so uh, if we were to type in hybrid and search this is how you do basically just go onto footbin sbcs and type in hybrid and search it um and they're just definitely worth it for me i would 100 percent attest that these are being definitely worth it another sbc people like doing at the start of the year is the gold upgrade now i'm looking at daily graph and at the start of the game is typically only about four to five thousand coins if you get an on early for example if you get a decent amount of coins going on the web app or if you get a decent amount of coins on the early access um and purchase yourself a load of gold old players for like 350 coins on on open bid uh you can do a lot of these now these are usually decent at the start of the year i have packed some great plays at the start of the year from doing like five of these however if you ask me if you don't have a lot of coins or you don't intend on spending a lot of fifa points not worth it to to like grind out a lot of these because ultimately you get untradeable players back and even if you do pack yourself somewhat lucky like I don't know. I think I packed Larice at the start of the game last year. Although that's like a goalkeeper and you're going to use him for a while. 
I don't know if it's worth spending like a lot of coins on these because you'll get hooked. You get addicted on these and it's not fun to get hooked on these kind of SBCs because when you get uh, untradables in return, it's just not really worth it. I think to summarize this, what I would say is if you plan on spending like 12, 24, 36,000 FIFA points at the start or even more if you are just crazy like myself, I'm, you know, I do come into that bracket a little bit. Uh, if you intend on spending a ridiculous amount of FIFA points, um, I would personally do a few gold upgrades just sort of get a taster for it because you will have a lot of coins and a lot of players. Um, and if I were you at the start with the welcome backpacks, make sure you hold on to them. Uh, it's no harm in being a little bit patient and holding on to your players before you uh, before you sell them, before you try and make a team, for example, because, you know, ultimately these SBCs are very good, very good value for money and a lot of people like to do these SBCs straight away. So for you guys, hold on to your players it's always worth it because then um you might have one of those plays that's like needed for this one specific sbc and then you've made a lot of coins on them or you can do the sbc for cheaper yourself so uh that's what i'd do if i were you and i'd look at the advanced uh, hybrid and hybrid league and nation sbcs just to try and get yourself some uh, extra coins they're always worth it in my opinion and great to, to try and do at the start of the game um i'm really excited for 20 hopefully you guys are too hopefully this next sort of week and a bit period just goes really quickly because I'm just so eager to play the game now. It's just really annoying me. Uh, I just want to be able to play the game. But thank you all for your support on the channel recently. You guys have been absolutely epic. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you lads later.